Welcome to Miles Entertainment. My name is Jesse Milestone, and I spend all of my days combing through the internet, looking for people who like movies that I hate or hate movies I love, stalking them on social media, leaving them crappy reviews, and trolling them. Oh wait, I don't do that, because what kind of person does that? A sick person does that. Hola, Demon Squad. It's your best friend from deep down under, the Bob of Wob. I'm back to do what I do best. Talk into a microphone and edit together a video talking about some new dumb thing I found on the internet today. I'm pretty good at that, I think. My next person on the list has been requested by more than one person. Thank you for all the requests, by the way. Mindless Entertainment. Oh boy. Mindless Entertainment. I know what you're thinking, and no, I'm not making that joke. Nope, not gonna do it. It's too easy. I'm above that. Sometimes. Thankfully, I don't have to call her that. Everybody meet Jesse. You guys are bitches. You know what? You don't phase me. I'm just doing this just so you can tell. I read the comments, I read the messages, I reply to them, but you know what? I don't give a fuck. No, not that, Jesse. That's Jesse Slaughter. This is Jesse Milestone. Jesse Milestone. I'm not going to lie. I have not heard very flattering things about you. But you know what? I'm going to put all that away. I don't care if any of it is true or not. I'm going to judge you solely on what you say right here, right now. Maybe this will be all right. Oh, wait. I just read the title. Well, never mind, I guess. How much do you want to bet this title is nothing more than clickbait? I'll bet you 500 demon credits right now. So, we're already off on the wrong foot, but I'm still optimistic. After all, you haven't said anything yet, so who knows? I think we could still have some middle ground. Welcome to Miles Entertainment. My name is Jesse Milestone, and I spend all of my days combing through the internet looking for people who like movies that I hate or hate movies I love, stalking them on social media, leaving them crappy reviews, and trolling them. Oh wait, I don't do that, because what kind of person does that? A sick person does that. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, so... Wow, that is not at all what I was expecting. Clearly, Jesse is very upset about something here. I think a little context is in order. I was recently made aware that our old friend Anna has had a recent family emergency involving her sister. I was informed of this from a commenter of mine when I made my Anna video. As the story goes, Anna is mourning because her sister has died. Now, this sucks. I've lost people before. I know how it is. So yes, I do feel bad for her. What you have to understand is that I don't feel any hatred towards anyone I do a video on. I have zero animosity towards anyone here. Not Gary, not Jeremy, not even Robert. My subscribers, my longtime people know this about me. I've repeated it a lot in my comments. I don't take myself all that seriously. I try to entertain above all. I just point out some dumb comments I hear and present my opinions on the matter. That's all I've ever done, and that's all I will continue to do. I disagree, sometimes very strongly with these people, but I do not hate them as people. They are human beings at the end of the day. They entertain an audience, just like me. All I do is express an opinion. I'll never attack someone personally, unless they throw the first punch. That's as fair as one can reasonably be. Believe it or not, I wish nothing but the best for Anna. That all being said, let's see what Jesse is so upset about. A sick person like one Willie O'Halloran. Yes, Willie O'Halloran. And if you look at his profile picture on Facebook, he looks like he has been drinking soy from his mother's teeth since he was a baby and probably still drinks from his mother's teeth. Because he, ah, oh, just, you know, you didn't judge a book by its cover, but some people, like the way you choose to present yourself in the world, it's just like you're screaming, I'm a male feminist who loves everything Disney does and will come after you with my pitchfork if you disagree. Up. Oh. Ah, there it is. There's the soy boy insult, of course. Do people seriously still use this dead meme as an insult? Wasn't that term coined by Paul Joseph Watson, who was then ridiculed when people pointed out that the Brain Force products he sells contain soy? Nice job there, Paul. You live on, you meme of a man. What's worse is that it's not even funny in the first place. The only reason people think soy makes you weak is because it contains plant estrogens that's that supposedly feminize men, 
which is completely unscientific because the plant estrogen and the female estrogen hormone are two fundamentally different things. Whatever, whatever, nitpick bullshit. Keep going. That's pretty much what he does. Pretty much what he does. So, so this guy decides he starts to solve by going on Anna's like, public Facebook page and leaving a review saying she does not he does not recommend that Star Wars girl uh, because she's toxic and biased towards the new movies, just like her troll of a friend Jeremy Griggs. So <coughs> once again, everything's always Jeremy's fault. As as a, Jeremy would just just go away. We wouldn't have these problems, obviously. Oh boy, her voice is already irritating me. It's even worse when it's sped up. Okay, so now we get into the main topic. This random guy, Willie O'Haran, supposedly leaves a review saying that I do not recommend that Star Wars girl or her troll of a friend Jeremy. So that's it. She mentioned this was on Facebook. So what what did he review on Facebook exactly? Was it just some random post out of the blue? I asked because she never provides any evidence for what Willie actually said. So I have no context for this situation. No, uh, but, the, but it doesn't stop there. It doesn't stop with this one douchey review. Which, by the way, let me add, this was left very recently. While, as we know, Anna is very much off social media uh, and, and mourning and dealing with the loss of her sister and all the fallout uh, that comes with something as, as mentioned tragic as that. Uh, and he knew. He knew because he admits it. Later, as people start calling him out for being an asshole, basically, he admits, he's like, yeah, I heard about her sister and I'm truly sorry she died, but that's what I'm talking about like are you really though because someone who was really sorry and really feeling that might think hmm, now is not the time to just randomly go on a crusade against her somebody with half a brain or a soul might think that but not good old willie o'hara oh halloran willie o'hara no people when people tell repeatedly say why are you kicking anna while she's down why don't you just give it a rest his response is i will not rest until she and her ilk stop lying about the last jedi uh, again she provides zero citations or screenshots for anything she just said so who knows what actually happened I mean, what did he review? On Facebook, no less. There's a lot missing here. Knowing that, I took it upon myself to look for our dear old Willie. Our dear old Willie. And I actually found his Facebook page. It's what you're seeing right now. This is most likely who she's talking about. I searched high and low, near and far, and I couldn't track down any post hating on her harassing Anna. And nothing on his wall shows him doing that to anyone else. Looking at this for yourself, do you think this person is anything like what Jesse described? Other than the whole soy boy male feminist blah 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 blah. This guy doesn't come off to me like some kind of soulless asshole who would just hate on someone he doesn't like. Not saying he hasn't engaged in that, but since messy Jesse over here doesn't provide any proof, what can I reasonably do in this circumstance? I just want you to remember this so you can take her statements with a grain of salt. Like what? What is this ridiculous and lying as in we say it's bad? So we're lying, because we don't like a movie he likes. The insanity of this, this white knighting out here for Kathleen Kennedy and Ryan Johnson. Oh, she can't, it's so rude to say that she's like, ruining Star Wars. It's just not true. It's a lie. It's a matter of perspective. Poll the rest of us. Will we tell you Kathleen Kennedy's ruining Star Wars? Absolutely, we will. It's a matter of perspective, asshole. Learn the difference between facts and feelings, you moron. All right, so I could level with her a little bit and say maybe it wasn't the best time to badmouth someone while they're grieving. But again, I have no idea what he actually said even though supposedly there's a post of him doing this. Even if I take you at your word, you admit all he said was, I generally dislike Anna and I don't like someone she associates with. I mean, really? Does that comment warrant this kind of reaction, even assuming what you said was 100% true? As if just because something bad happened to you, that means you're immune to criticism. Especially criticism that has nothing to do with said situation. You even said Anna was completely off social media, so she never saw it. And even if she did, what makes you think she would care? Anna is a public figure, a big public figure. Public figures catch all kinds of shit every hour of every day. At this point, it's just white noise to her. You learn to tune all that out when you're a large public figure. So what even is the functional purpose of this video, Jesse? What were you hoping to accomplish? To shit on some nobody who may or may not have done anything wrong in the first place? I'm not even going to mention how she's framing critique as an attack. I mean, these people do it so often, I stopped keeping track. It doesn't help that you argue that Kathleen Kennedy is ruining Star Wars. I mean, really? Star Wars? Being destroyed? Star Wars, the multi-billion dollar franchise with huge name recognition? You seriously believe that some dolts you don't like are capable of destroying that? I'm sorry, that's just absurd. S saying what, I mean, say what you want about Kathleen Kennedy. There's plenty to say about her, but you can't say she's failing at her job. Her job was to make money. 
and she did that. Sad truth, but that's all that mattered in the first place. And learn some fucking respect as this goes on. I'm not even, I'm not going to cite too much from here. It basically is them just saying, they're lying about, about Star Wars and it's an objectively good movie and anyone who says otherwise is an evil troll. Yeah. And people telling him he's a moron and him just repeating the same dumb things he said over and over again and saying, these things are all true because the media said so. Uh, points out at one point that the trilogy's not canceled because Ryan Johnson said so. And someone responded with a Henry Cavill saying he's still totally playing Superman when he wasn't going to be. Uh, and nope, nope, that's not real. That's the media, which is the media, of course, only tells the truth when it's convenient for him and lies when it's inconvenient for him. So this nonsense goes on and on. But again, repeatedly, people saying, like, dude, she's kind of not in a great spot right now. Do you think you might want to do this another time? And finally stops when a friend of his gets on and says, and I quote, uh, dude, not cool. She just lost her sister. You're a good friend, but geez, this isn't cool, nor is it appropriate. It took a friend of his looking at this to be like, look, I, you, whatever, you know, you're my friend, whatever, all this shit, but like, fuck you. This is wrong. This is objectively, morally wrong. Wait, so she's willing to directly quote his friend, but generalize everything Willie said? That seems kind of biased. Again, we have nothing to go off of, so your guess is as good as mine as to if that's true. You don't do that. This whole business of like, oh, I'm truly sorry your sister died, but nah, nah, nah. that's like showing up at someone's funeral and going to the bereaved and being like, I'm so sorry for your loss. Now, do you have a minute to talk about the, the good word of the last Jedi? Like, no, not the time to play sale. I'm like, what are you? This is, I, just, I don't understand this. I don't understand this business of seeking out strangers on the internet to tell them why you think they're wrong. Damn piece of shit, soy boy, beta bitch, toxic male. You want toxic masculinity? That's it right here. A guy who's gonna go knowing full well that Anna just lost her goddamn sister and is gonna go after is gonna choose this moment because he's too fucking weak to pick on somebody when they're at full strength. He's gonna go after somebody who's fucking hurting right now with his little, with his bullshit because it's his only way to become relevant or have people pay attention to him. So go after somebody who's in a bad spot already and just try to kick them while they're down. That, Willie O'Halloran, is fucking pathetic. So go after somebody who's in a bad spot already and just try to kick them while they're down. That, Willie O'Halloran, is fucking pathetic. Grow up. Oh, and then by the way, after all of this, after Prop Jumator, his friend finally called him out. Uh, he went ahead, I don't know if he deleted the original, but he deleted some of the stuff and blocked Anna. Because he's a mature person. Because he's so mature. He's so mature. This is not even blocking somebody who's going after him. This is blocking somebody who he personally is attacking. I've been through this before. I love people like this. I'm going to be mean to you because I can't live with my shame. I'm going to block you and erase you from my memory. So I can't live with the knowledge of the crappy thing I did to you. And that's the kind of person that Willie O'Halloran is. So if you see him pop up anywhere on social media, just shut him right up. Don't even give him the time of day because that's what he wants. He wants that attention. He wants that recognition. So don't spam him. Don't go after him. Okay, that's enough. Her voice is seriously grating on me at this point. Imagine her just going on like this for 12 minutes at normal speed. Oh, Lord, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, I mean, f fuck. That's the whole video. A 12-minute long rant about a Facebook post. I wish that was a joke, but it isn't. Like, why? Seriously, why? What did I even just watch? It's just a mishmashed blur of shouting and anger towards some dude no one has ever heard of. You know, it just now occurred to me how funny it is that she just shit on this guy for using feelings over logic. Jesse, are you sure it's a good idea to say that while literally shouting at a camera? Her voice is even cracking at several moments because she's shouting so much. Jesse! Even if you did have a good point in the first place, it was completely lost in this miasma of spitting and screaming. This is like the worst imaginable way to get a point across. All I remember vividly is how much her voice annoyed me. You know, what was I even doing here? What's going on? Who are you? Who am I? Why do we exist? What is... The meaning of life. Who ate my last Cliff Bar in the break room fridge? Uh, well, I was somebody, and I'll, I'll see you lovely spider people some other time when it's appropriate. I guess I'm gonna, I don't know, go to Mars? That sounds kind of fun. Yeah.